Morning Stratters. I'm Bava, playing some more Tentix Modern here. I'm getting my window situated. There we go. Um, we're on the draw. We kept our hand and we're getting to rest. I wish it would just remember this setup for me. Save this window position. That would be fine. He's going to take the impact tremors. No big surprise there, I guess. Um, Cryptolith writes the other good one, though. All of our land comes into play tapped, which is slightly unfortunate at the moment. Um, so we will take the opportunity to scry one. And it's a root bound crag. Um, I think we'll put it on the bottom. Up against a blue black list, another root bound crag. I put that on the bottom, I did. Okay. No, pass the turn. So this is a Cryptolith Tremors list. Um, discard two cards. Fine. You and you. Grab the tremors, uh, the rate, and now it's gonna crash. Hello. Wow, I haven't seen this kind of death in a while. This is a uh, Well, there's that. I'm not going to defend this software for much longer if it keeps being so fucking annoying. <sighs> That's all we got, though, so we can let him go. And... Okay. There we go. We got our Cryptolith rate. Is he just going to make us discard everything? Is this a 8-rack uh, kind of list? Discard all your cards. Take damage for not having any cards in your hand. If we can get Cranko out and he doesn't die, that'd be pretty great, but we'll see. We'll F6 for our opponent's turn. I did not expect a specter, as the white stripes might say. Look, it's another tapped land. It's really frustrating. Okay. No. But we can have a hoardling outburst. We have lots of mana now to do stuff. <clears throat> I think emptying our hand is just fine. 
if we can get away with it. Let's see. All specters get plus one, plus one. That's fine. Hypnotic Spectre. Exhaustion. Creatures and lands target opponent controls don't untap during his or her next untap step. All right, I do have uh, goblins I can tap for mana, though. <clears throat> There's a second Cryptolith, right, which I don't need. I wish I had one mana. As long as I can get creatures, I can keep casting spells. Oh. Okay. What a weird little list he's got going on. Um. <laughs> We'll take a damage. <clears throat> Should be able to get lots of goblins. Get rid of the other Cranko, which is fine unless he kills this Cranko. Then I'm gonna be sad. Okay. I think I'm gonna keep cards in my hand in case he gets a rack. We can start attacking. He's gonna block that one. I don't even have to blow my Cranko quite yet because I still get a goblin. So that's a wash. And we did four. Does these have too much land? These goblins are going to get out of control. Now imagine if I had impact tremors out there. That's what this deck would be doing. <clears throat> um, I think it's fine. We'll keep the Hordling Outburst. There's no particular reason to cast it now. I don't know exactly what to make of what he has there. Blue cards, destroying artifacts, relics. We can bring in the revelries. Um, we'll take out the Memnites. We can try that. We are wary of taking too long in the just for fun room when sideboarding and people quit. But it's worth a shot.
So I played against a guy who had a similar list, and um, he actually had ways to sack the, the hangerback walkers uh, to make bunches of tokens. I don't. The hangerback walkers just kind of hanging out out there. Um, but it's fine. They're going to die one way or another, right? I can always destroy it with a destructive revelry if I need to, but that's kind of silly. Otherwise, we create a lot of tokens, get a lot of guys, um, use the Cryptolithrites to tap those guys for lots of mana. Um, we can get big things like giant hangerback walkers or Chancellor of the Forge, and he creates a bunch more guys, um, and he's a big 5-5. Five five. And if he's in our opening hand, we get a goblin to start with, so it's kind of fun. He's not played very much. All right, we've got one, two land, a Cryodid. Yep, we'll keep this. Probably get to rest right away. Anyway, we got a tap land, so he's got two chances to duress us. Um. Forest. I don't think I need that. Uh, between the Cryptolithrite and the Cryodid and the various guys that we have here, I think maybe we can get away without it. We'll try and get set up here, but I'm worried about his discard. <clears throat> okay. Mine's still working. Hopefully he hasn't disconnected now. It's a rough day for Magic Online, I guess. So just one Tremors out there, you never even really need to attack. You can just make a bunch of tokens and uh, he takes bunches of damage. It's pretty fun that way. Hmm. We'll play the Forest. Uh, we'll get the Cryodid. If that's the thing that gets countered, that's okay. Ah, sad. That's, that is totally okay, though. Well, I meant I should have played the game trail and revealed the forest. It's got to be... Yeah, I'm an idiot. All right, so there's a specter. Yeah, I'm going to uh, be sad about this now. No. Doesn't make too much of a difference. Cryptolith right. Discard a card at random. All right. Um, we'll get rid of the destructive revelry. I think we want to play the. Uh, it depends if we get a land or not. Probably we play the Hordling Outburst if we can get away with it. Uh, there goes the impact tremors. You didn't get any of these guys last game. All right. Put on bottom. Okay, 50 50 chance we keep Krenko. I'm really sad we lost the impact tremors. I love hypnotic specters. 
Oh good, we get Cranko still. Unless he blackmails us or something horrible happens. Um, so we just play all of our... We don't want any cards in our hand. Keep our goblins back. He's got six damage in the air. Uh, if he plays a rack now, we're in trouble too. All right, we could draw an impact tremor. So we got four of them. Um, sacrifice a creature. It's like the worst edict there is. So he's playing much more uh, conservatively than he should, probably, which is fine. He wants to cast his big, giant, everything dies spell. Okay, good. I don't want any of those cards. I mean, Hordling Outburst would have been okay. <clears throat> yeah. We just start attacking. See how he blocks. We might just Krenko. Mm -hmm. Might as well. Okay, we've got him down to 19. I wish I had my impact tremors. Tap Krenko, deal 10 damage. He concedes. There's one in there, plus a Chancellor of the Forge. Just get tons of guys. Would have been pretty great. All right, well, we sort of got to, uh, we got to play a Cranko list anyway, right? That's not so bad. Uh, All right. So this was one of my 10 ticks lists. I didn't get to play it for our 10 ticks modern event. Um, but it's another cheap list. It's it's a fun list. It's not a super competitive list, obviously. But if you want to try something different, check it out. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed the matches. I'm Bava, and I will catch you all next time. Thanks for watching. I'm Bava. Don't forget to check out our great articles and events at magicgatheringstrat.com. Feel free to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And check us out at twitch.tv slash magicgatheringstrat. Thank you to Card Hoarder for their support, and super thanks to our patrons. Check out our great patron rewards and consider uh, supporting us at patreon.com slash magicgatheringstrat. Catch you later.